Hi, in this video I'm going to show you what gear I use for hiking and backpacking when shooting my landscape photography. Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First Man Photography, the channel that will help you take your photography to the next level. If you haven't done so yet, head over to firstmanphotography.com, fill in your details to join the email list and I'll send you a free copy of the ebook on how to capture perfect exposure every time. Okay, let's get into this. Many of you have been enjoying my landscape photography vlogs where I get up into the mountains and take you through some of the process that I go through when capturing my photography. Now during these, the weather has not always been quite where I would want it to be. And on one of the vlogs, I explained some of the safety issues about going up into the mountains in bad weather. Now, since then, I've had quite a few requests from people asking me to create a video that talks about some of the gear that I use, the clothing that I'm wearing, other stuff that I've got in my bag apart from camera gear. So we're going to start talking about clothing. And when it comes to clothing, when you're in the grey outdoors, the way forward is layers. By wearing layers, you're trapping layers of air in between those layers of clothing, which that and it's that air that heats up and keeps you warm. Secondly, it means that if you get too hot or you get too cold, you can just remove or add layers on to keep you at the optimum temperature for you. So first of all, we're gonna want a base layer. That base layer generally wants to be something that is what we call wicking. And that's where if you get sweaty, it lets the air in, so that sweat will be removed and it doesn't absorb the water. So for me, I use this. It is an Under Armour base layer and it's sort of made of sort of polyester type material and that goes against your skin and if it gets wet through sweat it will quickly quickly dry because it doesn't like water so that's my base layer. Second layer I like to have a cotton layer. Now most people will probably recommend against this but me for me now I'm using my pretty cool Dot Raw t-shirts. If you want to buy one of these you can go over to the website and check it out and pick one up. But for me, I like a cotton layer because partly because the look, it just doesn't look so much like you're some sort of geek climbing a mountain. So I like a cotton layer on the next layer. Next, you've got to think about your legs and the same sort of thing applies. So you want a base layer if it's getting cold. I will go for a base layer like these, which are an Under Armour thermal uh, pant or long johns if you want to call them that but they do the job they're quite tight against your skin and will keep you warm at the base next i go for these which are just a, a very old now pair of walking trousers if it's not that cold you can still wear these without the base layer but on top of the base layer these do the trick again they won't absorb a lot of water and if they do they dry very quickly so they've been great next up if the weather really turns on you and it starts to rain terribly then i pull out these this waterproof layer Again, it's, it goes over your trousers, so you don't need to take anything off, but they just go over your bottoms and they'll keep your legs dry. Okay, so next, it's the most important thing if you're out trekking, and that is your feet, because if your feet stop working or they get uncomfortable, you're gonna have a very miserable time. So like I said in one of my vlogs, a good pair of walking boots is absolutely vital. And before you put them on, you need a good pair of thick socks as well. They're cheap. Now, I have these Scarpa walking boots. They are expensive. These are about £150 in the UK, but they do the job. They're waterproof and the tongue sort of the seal as well, so you can put your feet into the water. As you've seen on quite a few of my vlogs, I'm walking through water, but my feet are keep in, keeping dry, and it's because of these. They also provide the ankle support if, you sort of, if it's unsure underfoot and your ankle goes over. These will protect you. I cannot recommend these enough or buy an equivalent decent pair. Then you're going to need a coat on the top layer, which is really going to provide that main warmth. I do, however, have this very warm and rather nice down jacket, which, if it's not raining, is absolutely fantastic. Just one word of caution with down jackets, though, is the vast majority of them are not waterproof, so they're not going to be the ideal thing for rain. So if it does rain, I carry with me this light uh, rain coat. You can use it in the summer for a rain shower or in the winter, I will put it over the top of my down jacket just to add that extra 
rain protection to what I'm wearing. You do get jackets as well that sort of do both of these. They can be very warm and also waterproof. It's just a bit of personal choice about what's right for you. I like these things because both of these will pack very small and they're both quite light. Next up with the clothing, we want to keep our head warm because the vast majority of heat is lost through our head. So a nice warm hat like this. I've been wearing a cap in the summer as well to keep the sun out my eyes, but something to keep your head warm is gonna be vital. Equally important, think about the extremities, is to have a nice pair of gloves. I've been sent these gloves by a company called Valere and they are specific photography gloves. I haven't really checked them out yet, but they are pretty good because when you put them on like this, they have a little flap that you can stick your finger out of and your thumb and then you can control your camera. Like I said, the, the company have sent me these. I'm gonna review them or have a look at them. I'll let you know if they're good or not. If they're not good, I will tell you. I'm not, it's not sponsored or anything like that. They've just sent me them to try out. So I'm looking forward to testing these and I think from first sight, they will be good. Whether they work out in the field remains to be seen, but I will let you know. Okay, so beyond the clothing, we have a few things here. A torch, if it gets dark, you're gonna need that. If you're going out into the mountains, I suggest you take a map or something that's gonna let you navigate. I also have a compass here to go with the map, but you can also use a GPS navigation device what I wouldn't do though is rely on your phone because that can quite easily die. So don't rely on your phone when you're going to altitude or you're out in the cold because the likelihood is it will fail and you will be lost. So have a map, have a specialized GPS device to keep you safe so you know where you are. A multi-tool, knife, pliers, that kind of thing is always gonna come in handy. Also a first aid kit, which when things really go wrong, you might need, it may save your life with bandages, things like that. Equally, when things are really, really gone, gone badly for you, you might want to have a survival bag like this. It literally, you just get in it, it is just a plastic bag. You get in it, it's nice and high vis, and it could keep you safe or warm from the elements. This is not breathable, it does get sweaty. <sighs> Water, do not forget water when you're going out walking, especially when it's hot. Take some food as well, because it's nice to have a little snack at the top to keep you going. So there is an important message in there, which is to be prepared for the elements you're going into, but don't let the need for some of these things to be an excuse to stop you getting out and shooting some landscape photography. Likewise, you don't need all this gear if you're just going on a nice steady walk along a canal somewhere, because those people have all the gear, no idea. You just need to have the right gear for the right situation and just be sensible about what you're gonna take. But get out there, shoot some photography and have a good time. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Please give the video the thumbs up if you did and leave a comment down below to let me know what you think. What gear are you using? What do you think of my gear? I really would like to hear from you. I'll also put links to all the items that are featured in the description so you can check them out at your leisure as well. If you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel for new videos every Sunday and every Wednesday. And hopefully I will be putting some of the gear that we've talked about today to use very soon. I'm Adam, this is First Man Photography, out. Just look at that view at the top of Skidor Mountain in the Lake District. Those 360 degree views that have now formed pretty much the peak of all of my vlogs. <laughs>